Hello everybody, this is Blade Cross EXE, and welcome back to the Saber Wars, part of Fate Grand Order. Alright, time for episode one, after the prequel, Monster Attack. Hmm, do I have a friend who's got... Hmm, I thought I had a friend who actually had Saber Lily that I could use. Her level would be higher and things would be easier, but I don't see her on here right now. Him, her, whichever it is. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's grab Saber Lily and begin the quest. Lily's Cosmic Winter Rebellion, The Caliburn Awakens, Monster Attack Part 1. Alright, Battle 1 of 3. Automata... Uh, I'm not sure what that symbol is. It's an automata with a cowlick. That's all this is. Alright, um... Mordred, you deal with it. Oh, I get it. Altrium is the cowlick. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> hmm. Alright. Dead. Not dead. Now dead. There we go. So the ones with the cowlicks have the Altrium. So I'm basically chopping off the cowlicks and taking them to fuel the ship. <laughs> makes it makes about as much sense as anything else in fate. No phantasm is not quite charged yet, so I can't just blast them away. So let's give it a little boost. You're not really doing that much damage. Good thing I don't have Santa Altar equipped, though, because then I might be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I remember these things did give me a little trouble back in London, because Santa Altar is a rider class, which is weak to assassins. And Santa Altar is actually my strongest servant, so even though these guys are, were only in, like, level 40, they were still doing a lot of damage to her. Not really with a lot of experience, these quests. So, uh, total EP, 1,200, not 12,000. And I got two transistors, plus one. So, four, six, I think. Oh, hey, there you go. A few rewards right off the bat. Mysterious Substance Craft Essence. What does it do? EXP card. Oh, it's an EXP card, like those, uh, like those Nobu cards. Okay, okay. And I get a golden apple. Good. Or a golden fruit. Alright. Part 2. Blackbeard Awakens. Ooh. Here we go. Use Mysterious Hero in X. Test her out for a little bit. Blackbeard Awakens. I hate Blackbeard. He's like one of the characters I hate the most in this game. Senpai, so don't you think it's about time that we answer the question that's on everyone's mind? Oh, ah, about who X really is? Or, oh, you mean about the spacecraft, spacecraft parts? Yeah, let's play Oblivious. I wasn't going to say anything, but it looks like this is going to take a while. What, do you have questions for me? Since we've reached a break in Lily's training, go right ahead. Well, first question. I'm alright with gathering Altrium, but how is it you'll be able to power up Lily with the Altrium we gather? Right, I, I didn't explain how it works, did I? It's common sense throughout the entire Milky Way. Altrium is a newly discovered almighty energy particle. My spacecraft is powered by Altrium. Also, inside my spacecraft, the origin enhancement device... A capsule known as Adam Cadmon. When this device is fed al enough Altrium, Lily can be physically enhanced. A spirit origin enhancement device? What is Cadmon? In Hebrew language, it means doll or human, but with a negative connotation. They say it's a very immoral thing. I guess you could say it's much like a Paracleus. Adam Cadmon is a device that creates an an extract spirit origin copy based on the spirit origin's information. So you can print off copies of the same heroic spirit, so you can raise an old phantasm all you like. Wow. You can just print copies of heroic spirit. 
Because that's how you level up Noble Phantasms in this. There's a device like that? That would be awesome. Please let me use it as well. It's a perfect chance to improve the effectiveness of my Noble Phantasm. Nope, no can do. That's its flaw. Adam can only increase things made of Altria. What? what? Oh dear, that was a short-lived dream. I'm sorry, Master. It seems I'll always be a hopeless solo servant. Don't worry, Master. You'll become stronger enough sure, for sure one day. Come on, you'll get there soon. As soon as they release the next part of story mode. Those are honest, frank words. You have a good master, Shieldy. Yes, I, I do my best to live up to my master's expectations. No, sorry, Mash. Sorry to be blunt, I have no expectations from you. Not good or bad. <laughs> now for my next question. I'm alright with gathering spacecraft parts, but why do the monsters... But why do the monsters that are attacking carry these parts? They look nothing like more than junk. Yahoo! I found some. I found some, General. Now this, uh, this is a true dreamland. No doubt about it. This mountain of treasure will make us fat stacks. I'm getting goosebumps all over. What? What's this? A mirage? What a find. Did I accidentally order a Happy Meal? All that's left is my sweet marshmallow. To my right is a petite, kawaii, golden-haired knight princess. Good lord, I don't think I can take any more. Nice my chance to get a waifu. I've had quite enough beauties I've gathered. The only thing I have before my eyes is treasure. I'm serious. Yeah, this is why I hate Blackbeard, because he acts just like this in story mode, too. He talks like he's from the internet. And... I, I don't like that. Like, he uses... Uses, like, text-speak. And he's creepy. Go fishing on holidays. Yeah, yeah. go fishing and leave us alone. Use a hook on your hand to catch stuff. In fact, I'll have both. I mean, uh, pirate is just a different way to spell freedom. I knew it was you, Captain Teach. And the one next to you is... Hey, Gilles de Rey. That's right, time to... Alright, time to pillage. We're on land now. And there are no hags here to wallop me back on the back of the head. This hot scrap metal behind me smell of real treasure. Get it all. Oh, General, you take one too. What is it? What's this? Fine, I may not look it, but I am somewhat of a, I'm somewhat of an art connoisseur. I have an affinity for old relics. However, I have no interest in women. I have learned from my lesson from Francesca, so split them as you please. That's what you say. You're pretty shy, General. As expected from the famous Bluebeard. Oh, Blackbeard and Bluebeard teaming up. I get it. So cruel, just like our captain. <laughs> don't, But don't get carried away just because the general is a gentleman. Mash and the Night Princess are mine. If you lay a hand on them, I'll stick you in a barrel. Oh, but that... But the one with the tacky blue tracksuit, she's nowhere... She's not anywhere near my shark zone. Who is it? The late pretty young girls? Was, was it Rackman? Uh, he was uh, pretty sad when Mary deceived him. <laughs> What's this? General's getting excited. Could be that he has a tacky blue tracksuit fetish. H how about I stuff you in a barrel? Huh, Blackbeard? Stuff you in the barrel of a cannon and launch you out of here. Not bad for an arc sore. <laughs> when the general is like this, he is really quite frightening. You then, the tacky tracksuit. Take my advice and make a run for it. It just might save you, you know. Whoa! Pardon me. I killed him out of reflex. But it doesn't matter, does it? He's a saber class, after all. I really want a saber to come along, but she's pretty frightening. So I said by the general, who knew that he'd be defeated before he could even draw his sword? Oh, he's already dead. Oh well, I didn't expect anything from him anyway. I thought he could at least use a shield, for I am kind. But this is unacceptable. He, uh, but that's not even a cooling off period. That's a huge loss for Blackbeard. Who are you? As, an, no, as another gentleman, I will not abide this. You, tacky tracksuit, look more like a bad guy than us. Gabriel, that talking louse, you seem to know him. May I dispose of him? Yes, please, be my guest. Get get him out of here. Get rid of him. Stay on your guard, X. Blackbeard might not look it, but he's got some unique skills. When he's your ally, he's not much, but once he's your enemy, he's troublesome. Princess Mess, your appraisal is so correct that I am completely overwhelmed. I can't believe you understand me so well. I'm so embarrassed, almost as much as when I saw what someone hid under my bed. At any rate, won't be long now before we're hot honeymooners. Senpai, this first time I've regretted being a shield servant. I want a holy sword now, too. A holy sword! Well, uh, go, go get Shiro. He can trace you one or two. Alright, battle part one. 
Blackbeard's Elite Land Brigade. Lancer classes, even though they're carrying axes, those are usually the Berserker classes. Alright, well, let's just chop them down one by one. Dead. 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 My servers are just entirely overleveled. I was I was preparing for this for a while. Oh, we got an archer in the back. Okay. Alright, uh, let's go. Let's see. Alter, Mordred, X. Oh, barely survived. Okay. There you go. So is Blackbeard up next? There you are. Simply named Teach. A couple automatas. So let uh let X wail on Blackbeard for a little bit. Dead. Man, for only being level 12, these guys have pretty strong defense. Yeah, using all arts cards, but won't make a difference after this turn. There you go. Again, not very much experience. I'm not going to level up at this rate. What, no awards this time? Okay. I see. So that's what it's about. Sea and sky. Though our territories differ, I also share fate with my ship. I understand Missy X felt so... I understand how Missy X felt so much hurt it, it is. In fact, it physically hurts. That's hot! That's hot! Ah, oh, that's hot! Ah! I wish you wouldn't press that glowing blade against my back, but that's one hell of a handsome sword. It looks incredibly valuable. I don't have the same opinion. I think X's sword is absolutely amazing. It maintains a classic noble design, but who would have guessed it was a secret weapon with many functions? I can sense freedom in this design. It's Cosmo good. Um, if you don't stop, Lily, at this rate, Blackbeard's gonna become a roasted pirate. Well, you let him. I hate him. Just let him die. It's alright, Mash. X distinguished because her dear ship has been damaged. I shall return the parts that I picked up. You too, General. Thank you. You're very kind. I'm sorry about what I did earlier. Whenever I see a Saber class, I can't stop myself. You are Gilles, are you not? I sense... I sense in your dignity and a sense of earnestness. What are you doing in this Freedom Nerds party? Looks like he intends to make full use of his right to remain silent. Damn it! Forget about Mr. Gloomy here. Let's talk about my little sister here. To be precise, Lily's Noble Phantasm training. How about it? By way of apology, how about if I, Blackbeard, train you myself? Well, I totally expect something to happen during training. It may I may look like this, but I know no shame. I I will turn my defeat into an opportunity. I'll pretend to be your ally and wait for my chance to strike. Now, this is top secret. The reason I don't use a pistol is so I can get in close to grapple with my opponent. Try using your noble phantasm on me once. I shall dance gracefully as a butterfly and uh, da and catch you like a bee. That's the kind of dazzling training experience I can offer you. How about it? E how about no? We're serving to practice with the noble phantasm by using it on another. What kind of person are you, Teach? I'll never get another chance like this. Please allow me to. Please let, oh, let me cut your bonds. Lily, are you sure this is alright, senpai? Black, Blackbeard is after... It's alright, Mash. I know how this will end. Sit back, you don't want, you don't want to get caught in the crossfire. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Get ready, teach. <laughs> you have activated my trap card. Ugh. I got nothing against Yu-Gi-Oh! And I like those memes. It's just... 
out, really out of place with Blackbeard. Fools, without that rope, you're as good as mine. A level one noble phantasm is nothing to me. I'll take it, and I'll KO you with one loop and dive. Right there. Caliburn, cleanse this evil. Right in the groin! Oh, man. Holy sword to the nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna die! Anyone would die from that. That's more of an anti-male attack than Orion's. Oh, dear. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My hand slipped. Uh, I'll, I'll try it one more time. What? One more time? Uh, are you saying you want to? You want me to take 20k damage in a single spot again? Please, I'll do my very best. I can't resist a maiden knight with those cute puppy dog eyes. I can't say no, but I'm serious. Watch what you're doing. Make sure you're in for my chest, okay? I can at least get my guard up there. Okay, leave it to me. All right, here goes. Caliber and cleanse this evil. Whoops. Double nut shot. That's the stop. Are you dead now? Please be dead. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. Next time, I'll aim good and proper at your chest. Uh, that's fine. Your noble phantasm is fine the way it is. I've reached my limit, so I'll be going. Can you take me, General? Yes. You've certainly had a terrible time of it. What comes right down to it, parts tend to lose their balls when they're on land. General Gilles? Gilles left all by himself. It seems as if he was a little embarrassed. Now, that's a stoic individual with a very dry sense of humor. He certainly has the core of a saber. By the way, the piece of filth is a nuisance. Does anyone care if I burn him to ash? Go right ahead. By God, you're a heartless one. To speak such cruelty with a smile on your face. Someone help me! I've had enough of this saber face. If you want to kill him, X, go right ahead. I will not stop you. Yay, Saints Courts. Oh yeah, that reminds me. While I was uh, in between videos, I went ahead and uh, rolled with those three Saints Courts I had uh, left over. And I ended up getting... Uh, what's it called again? It's like crimson something. Uh, yeah, that right there. The Crimson Land of Shadows. But I can't equip it on anybody without taking away one of my other craft essences. So I'm just not going to use it for now. Alright, let's begin with Monster Attack Part 2. Alright, got a battle right off the bat. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, let's see. Start off strong. And dead. I just really wish I could have gotten regular Arturia when I was summoning earlier. She's like one of the top three characters I really want. My top three include Arturia, King Arthur himself, like prototype saber which will come around during the during some summoning event in 2019 I think and Iskandar and then after that my next most wanted is uh, Assassin Emia okay uh, let's see Arts Buster Buster there we go ah that was a waste Um, arts, arts, quick. Dead. There we go. Just a bunch of wyverns with... Or two wyverns uh, with a... Uh, with a cowlick. One thing I did see was that one boss later on, I don't remember who it was, but one boss that's going to show up later in this campaign is going to have 2 million HP. Or is it 4 million? Something like that. Some stupidly high number and everyone's freaking out about it. And I'm thinking to myself, my servants are already pretty high leveled. And the last boss to give me any actual trouble was, uh, was Nikola Tesla. Even Solomon wasn't that hard. You know, back in, back in London. Okay, monoprisms, and another craft essence. Oh yeah, craft essences. Oh yeah, those just experience craft essences. Alright. So, I'm not scared. I'm I'm just ready for 
I'm ready for that boss fight. Yay, golden fruit. Keep restoring that AP. Alright, well, we finished uh, Monster Attack, so I'm going to go ahead and leave, leave, leave this episode off right there. I do wish that X had actually killed Blackbeard, though. Well, this has been Blade Cross EXE, part of Flash of Blades Productions. Thank you all so much for watching, and tune in next time for Part 3 of Saber Wars. Peace out.